Hello friends, it's Cindy Brumbaugh from CindyLeeBeeDesigns.com, independent stamping up demonstrator. Today's card has a fun belly band that goes over a double triangle flap gatefold card. So a little bit of something something on this card using the beautiful, okay, I'm just gonna like leave this sitting out here. Put that flat back down, put the belly band on there. I'm using the Courage and Faith stamp set. I love the stamp set with the vertical greetings in it and these beautiful um, kind of embellished leaf that can go on either side, as you can see I put on that card. And I also use the new Nested Essentials dies. So those Nested Essential dies, they're layering dies that can be used for so many different stamp sets, but I thought they would look nice with these different vertical greetings here. So I'm gonna show you what I did with this card. This card here, I used the new in color Boho Blue and um, the new Boho Blue ribbon. And I'm going to just replicate that, but in the, a different color. Now the key to this one here is your gatefold mechanism is going to be eight inches by five and a quarter. So five and a quarter so that you have that one eighth inch border the whole way around your card. And then you're just going to score in two inches on each side of your eight inch. So just score, just take off a half an inch there. I like to fold in where the mountain is. So this is called the valley where the divot is. And then where it's bumped is the mountain. I like to fold on the mountain when I do those. And then I'm going to just score that and score this one over to have it reach the middle. You, um, some people will not score that side because they think there's a little gap, but um, I usually do score it there. And then we have them fold together there. So again, that was five and a quarter high, eight inches wide, and then you scored in two inches on each side so that they would meet in the middle when you fold them. Okay, so to get that one eighth inch border around the entire, around the card, you're just gonna use a quarter sheet of your card stock. You're gonna cut it down the middle equal, down the middle this way, you'll end up with four and a quarter by five and a half. And that is where this is going to fit onto here. And you'll see that pretty border around there. Now this color I'm using here is the Pebbled Path. It's um, in the gray range, uh, hue of color, uh, hue of gray. It is a hue of gray. It is a gray hue. It has a hue of gray. <laughs> it is gray, but it's not Smoky Slate. It's not basic gray. It's a different gray and not gray granite either. I love that Pebbled Path. Kind of more of a, a little tiny bit of brownish in it. I should have brought your other colors. Maybe I'll take a photo of all the colors together to show you that it is a different color there. So that um, folded gatefold is gonna go on that quarter panel of colored cardstock. But before that, we do that. Just because if you mess up on stamping, you'd already have it glued on there. We're gonna go ahead and stamp on here. And what I did is I just took the two um, flower em leaf embellishments there and I put them on each side. Now the way that I found out that that would um, fit is I wanted them to be, to go, to fit onto the card. So you can just play around with whatever block you have. This just happens to be a block that I had with um, grid lines on that I like. I don't even know where it came from so I wouldn't even be able to tell you. But um, all my other Stamping Up blocks also are all mounted because I just had a class and I haven't cleaned up yet. And so we have, I can tell that it's gonna fit on that section there. And so that's how I determined that. So what I'm gonna do though, is give myself a little bit of help with a little bit of, um, this is called highlighter tape. I found it on Amazon. So we're just gonna close, the, whoop, did it work? Okay, we're gonna, I dropped it on there. It's a, um, tape that's very easily removable. But I wanna close up this card because it's gonna make the stamping a lot easier. Okay, it'll close the card down because I'm just going to take that and stamp it right on there. Okay, I'm also gonna burnish this so it really stays flat for me. So I'm going to use the Pebbled Path ink. Remember these ink pads open on the hinge. I still have some of my older pads and it's almost crazy when you go to use them because you're not used to them. Now with this, I will go ahead and stamp this way. I usually stamp 
um, there we go. Depends on which way, which direction I'm going, but I've got the pebbled path on there. It's a brand new one, nice and juicy. But sometimes juicy isn't always the best, right? It looks like our camera got a little crooked there. Sorry about that. It's always a daily battle with that camera. Just, okay, everybody close your eyes. There we go, that's better, okay. Um, so I am going to stamp that right where I know. Oh, the other trick to this um, is I think when I stamped this one, I had the flaps on there. But once again, if you put these these flaps on your card and you mess up the stamping, you're in trouble. So just kind of um, put it in the middle, which you're going to be fine with that. So then I'm looking and I can see press down there. There we go. We've got our little flourishes on there of leaves and just really, I thought, just added something really fun to the card here. So now we're going to look at these little flaps, okay? And let me just take off my little pieces of tape. Again, that is highlighter tape. Um, people use it when they're highlighting a book um, that they want to resell again, like a college textbook. Okay, so there we go, we have that. Now we're gonna look at these flaps here. These flaps are simply four inches by three, four inches by three of your DSP. And then what I do on these is I, um, you're really actually folding them over this way, but I find it easier if I have a reference line here. So what I'm gonna do is score I'm going to just score, and I like to have the bump when I'm doing this, so I want the bump on the side. So I'm gonna take the good side up that I like, and I'm just gonna score in one inch on that three inch side. So you have your four inches by three, but put the three inch side up there, and I'm gonna score just one inch. And I'm using this side because I find it easy, but you could also score this way too, whichever way you would like to. And I'm just making a score. There we go. And then that just gives me a reference line to bring down. See, I have that little bump there. Then I can bring down my triangle to that line. And before I get really, really um, creased there, I'm just gonna play with these because I want them to come together. And see, I can play around here with it a little bit. And now that I see they're meeting each other, I can press down and really get firm with my burnishing of those. And then I can see that it folds over on that. And then I'm also gonna burnish this. Okay, so that'll be one flap. Again, what I did is you're gonna be, remember that you scored with a three inch side at your trimmer and you scored in one inch. But I did it on the good side because I want that bump on the other side. Then you're just gonna take these two corners, you're gonna turn it so that your four inch is there and then you're gonna be folding these triangles in. And like I said, you don't have to make that score line, but I just find it easy for me. And then just kind of make a little bit of a crease there before you make sure that you're gonna make really commit to the crease. So, cause sometimes you just have to play. And, and sometimes it's good to just get your paper a little bit pliable too. So there we go and then fold this over. And of, of course, you wanna get that point nice there. And this is where you don't wanna to commit to that first crease until you know you can get that corner over there. So let me see here. Get that point at the top. It's super easy to do, but Sometimes the paper is not cooperating 
want it to go over just a little bit, make this a little more pliable. When you know, of course, when I'm making a video, it doesn't want to cooperate. Okay, there we go. I'm thinking that this one needs to come over just a tad. There we go. Now we can commit to the crease. It was just being a little bit feisty with me, okay? And then on that score line, I can make, and because I already pre-scored that, it gave the paper an idea of what I wanted it to do. <laughs> and then we just are going to put that on these two. And you can see how that's gonna go together. Okay, look how pretty. Okay, so now let's just take these little flaps and give them a little bit of something to hold on to. So I'm just gonna give a little bit of glue on these flaps and do it, don't do it on the big triangle, do it on the small triangle flaps because you don't want glue seeping through. Okay, I'm just going to give them something to adhere there too. There we go. And then we're going to put a little glue on this part so we can put on the back of that gatefold. Okay, so now we'll put one here. And you can see it'll still close. So there is one on the top, and now we'll put one. And the nice thing about this, you may have seen this technique used where, where it's the card is just like this and they put something big here, but then you might overwrite on there. So I like putting this little gatefold in the middle and I've made it where I haven't decorated this or I've put a different DSP here. You can do that and then it gives you, it just dresses it up. But I thought this stamp set made a perfect uh, embellishment on the side with the stamp there. So there we go. We are almost done kids. Yes, we're just gonna now that we have this all done, look how pretty that looks there. Gives me an idea of how fun it would be to make a card like that. And I just like to put a little bit of adhesive on the corner, on the sides, but not a lot in the middle because that's when you end up with the big um, marks when you try to write or something. So then you just kind of eyeball and see that your top, bottom, and your left and right sides have the same amount of border, hopefully if measured one eighth inch the whole way around. And then we just make a belly band to go around. And I simply used, I do believe this is three quarters of an inch because I went off of the size of the ribbon I was using. So let's see here. Yes, three, quor three quarters. No, I used, yes, I used three quarters of an inch because this ribbon, the really pretty textured ribbon, textured ribbon that's in the new in colors, this is the Pebble Path, because um, the ribbon, it just looked, if I made this any wider, it just wouldn't have, it just looks really proportioned that way. So let me tell you my little trick too for doing um, my, my ribbon. So I will put, oh, what I'm gonna do, for the first part of, um, this is gonna go around our card. So I don't score them because then it makes them too big um, and it's the belly band slides around. So I just look and I see that I've got the right amount and then I'm just gonna make a score line on one of them. Just take, and you could do this on your trimmer or whatever, but I'm just gonna make a little score line. So I do know that, and I'm actually gonna turn it this way and that's gonna be my one area that I know and then I'm going to put it up against the top or the bottom and then the other one I won't score and I'll just fold it over but if you take your piece and you just put that ribbon on it's going to buckle so I like to give it a little bit of um, not total adhered because that's when we buckle oh now so I just want to 
put that down so I have little pieces so the ribbon has a little bit of room to move. So there we go. And I might just put a tiny bit like right at that score line, a little past that score line. And as, <clears throat> as I work along, excuse me, a little frog in my throat there. I am not adhering it the whole way down. And that, like I said, just gives it a little bit of room, just little bits of adhesive gives me a little bit of room to work. Okay, so this is where my folded area is. So I'm gonna use that on the, I'm gonna use that on the bottom. Now, when I go to close this around here, I now know the ribbon can be adhered a little better up here with a little more ribbon. There we go. And that's gonna cover up the bottom there. And I can snip off this little ribbon here. And then we're gonna pull this one down and we're gonna now be able to give it a little bit of give there so that whenever you go to put it off, now you can, it won't um, be too loose. And make sure you give yourself just a little bit of room so that it can move. Now what I did on this one is I then layered my, I used my nested essentials dies, that rounded corner square when I used the largest one and I adhered it, I adhered it. I, oh, I put it, I adhered my belly band to this. So that's where I can put in Right down the middle, you could use anything you want. I'm gonna pull my ribbon a little tighter now that I can. And then I'm just going to adhere that to the middle. I think I've got that centered straight. Adhere that. And notice it's free flowing under here. Nothing, this piece is not adhered to those triangles. You do not want them in here because you wanna be able to move this off. So now you have this to put on the front. And so you can just take dimensionals, put it in the four corners. So just put a dimensional in each corner of the ne next layered down die. And you're gonna have the place enough room to go in the sides of your belly band ribbon apparatus. So you just take this and you put it, you get the little thing off of there. And then you center that over the, the die there. And then you dress it up with another coordination item that Stamping have with the 2023-25 in color dots. And then I'm just going to use some of these. These come in all of our colors, boho blue, copper clay, moody mauve, wild wheat, and the pebbled path. So I'm just going to take the biggest one and put it down here in the corner. And then I'm gonna take the next two with the roll of three. And I'm just gonna take the, and put one here. And take the smallest one. And put it up here. So there we go. What a beautiful monochromatic card. Here's the one in boho blue and you can see how the belly band fits over there and how fun that looks. I'm gonna stick it back on there so we can see if my eyeballs did the, um, or maybe I'm not gonna fiddle with it right now because there we go. But really fun card that we can make. Sorry about that camera there. Let's get it back down there. Um, monochromatic card using the new in colors. I'm calling it the double triangle gate flap gatefold ah we'll see always google the stamp set if you remember that i um did um on my blog cindy lee b designs.com underneath the youtube description are all the measurements and the colors and products i use but there's also a link visit my blog here press that link takes you right back over to Cindy Lee B Designs with additional photos and tidbits for you. Subscribe, I like to post on Monday, Wednesday, Friday and any other time that there's a promotion going on or something I need to let you in on. 
Thanks for buzzing by, friends.